Today, we'll be talking about some fun and interesting English idioms that you can use in your everyday conversations. Idioms are phrases or expressions that have a figurative meaning that is different from their literal meaning, and they are often unique to a specific language or culture. Let's start with the first idiom, bite the bullet. This phrase has an interesting origin that dates back to the 19th century. During wartime, soldiers who needed to undergo surgery did not have access to anesthesia. To help them cope with the pain, they would bite on a bullet. Over time, the phrase, bite the bullet, came to mean facing a difficult situation with courage and determination. For example, if you're nervous about giving a speech, someone might encourage you to bite the bullet and just go for it. Let's watch movie clips. Is it time to bite the bullet? It's go! Bite the bullet! Go on the date! It's better than being lonely and crazy like me. Just bite the bullet on this thing. Yeah. Moving on to the next idiom, break a leg. This phrase is commonly used in the theater world as a way to wish performers good luck. It may sound strange to wish someone to break a leg, but there's an interesting history behind it. It's actually considered bad luck to wish someone good luck in theater, so actors say, break a leg, instead. This phrase has become so popular that it's now used in other contexts to wish someone luck. For example, you could tell your friend to break a leg before a big exam or job interview. Let's watch movie clips. Break a leg. Break a leg. Our third idiom, cat got your tongue, is used when someone is unusually quiet or not speaking up when expected to. While the phrase's origin is uncertain, it's said to date back to the Middle Ages when liars had their tongues cut out and fed to cats as punishment. Fortunately, that practice doesn't exist anymore, and now the phrase is used more lightheartedly to encourage someone to speak up or express their thoughts. Let's watch movie clips. Cat got your tongue? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Enjoy the ride! Another interesting idiom is, cut the mustard. This phrase originated in the early 1900s and was used to describe someone who could meet a certain standard or expectation. It's believed to have come from the idea of mustard being a spicy condiment that adds flavor to a dish. So, if someone tells you that you're cutting the mustard, they're saying that you're doing a good job and meeting their expectations. Movie clips. Everybody knows I can't cut the mustard, isn't that right, Dad? You listen to me. But it won't cut the mustard with me. Lastly, we have, go the whole nine yards. This phrase has its origins in the military, specifically during World War II. Fighter pilots had nine yards of ammunition, and if they used it all, they were said to have gone the whole nine yards. Today, the phrase means to give it your all or do everything possible. For example, if you're preparing for a big test, you might tell yourself to go the whole nine yards and study as much as you can. Movie clips. I'm talking apps, entrees, the whole nine yards. All right, Wildcat, are you ready to give 110%, take it one game at a time, and go the whole nine yards? And that's it for today's lesson on English idioms. Remember to practice using these phrases in your conversations to improve your English skills. Thank you for watching. If the video was useful, please hit the like button.